How's it everyone? Welcome to Open Court. So I just got back from my recent trip to Japan and I discovered something interesting there that I wanted to share with you guys today. So I'm sure you guys have heard of the Wilson Pro Overgrip. It's one of the most popular overgrips on the market. Roger Federer uses it as well as many other pros and players. It's my personal favorite overgrip, but I discovered that the US version of the Pro Overgrip and the Japanese version of the Pro Overgrip are actually quite different. And on today's court checklist, I want to show you guys the differences. So I got a pack of each of the US version and the Japanese version of the Wilson Pro Overgrip. So as you guys can see, this is the US version, the packaging, it says Pro Comfort. And this is the Japanese version, same thing, the Pro Comfort. So they both come in three packs and they're both very, very good grips, um, but they're actually quite different. So let's start with the first difference, which is the length and the width. All right, so I got both overgrips laid out here. And as you guys can see, the US version, which is the one on the bottom, is longer than the Japanese version. The Japanese version is also a little bit wider than the US version. Also, you might notice that the Japanese version of the Wilson Pro Overgrip is tapered on both ends. And so the advantage of tapering both ends is that you can put on the overgrip both ways whether you're right-handed or left-handed. Japanese engineering and manufacturing is known for always thinking about the customer's needs and so I'm not surprised that the Japanese version of the Wilson Pro Overgrip is made to accommodate both righties and lefties. And lastly, the biggest difference in my opinion is the level of tack. The Wilson Pro Overgrip US is slightly on the tacky side, but the Japanese version of it is very, very tacky. If you guys have ever tried maybe Turn Attack, you know, Turn Grip makes the, the blue one, but they also have something called Turn Attack, which is very sticky, very tacky. The Wilson Pro Overgrip Japan version feels similar to that. And so the US version, I would say, is more for all climates. You can use it in a cold environment where your hand doesn't sweat that much, but it'll also absorb enough sweat when you guys are playing in hot, humid conditions that you won't have to worry about the grip slipping in your hand. However, the Japanese version of the Wilson Pro Overgrip does not suit hot, humid environments, in my opinion, because the tackier the grip, the more slippery it's gonna get as your sweat from your hand gets onto the grip. And so I do not recommend the Japan-based Wilson Pro Overgrip, which is ironic because Japan gets extremely hot in the summer. And so if you're in Japan and watching this, you might wanna go with Turner Grip for those summer sessions. So which one do I like better, the US or the Japan version of the Wilson Pro Overgrip? I like both. However, I would definitely give the edge to the US-based Wilson Pro Overgrip for two reasons. Number one, it's not quite as tacky. And so since playing in Hawaii where it's really hot and humid, my hand sweats a lot, this absorbs the sweat a little bit more and it allows my grip to stay true. It doesn't twist in my hand. This will twist in my hand a little bit more when it gets hot. And secondly, this thing, the Japan version, picks up a lot of dirt and dust and the grip gets very, very dirty really quickly. So the Wilson Pro Overgrip is my current favorite overgrip on the market. If you guys don't know what overgrip to try next, give the Wilson Pro Overgrip a try. Thank you for watching today's court checklist on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.